entries and double entries for return outwards, all right? Purchase returns, okay? Is the code purchase returns return outward. This is when you take back goods to your supplier, all right? You buy goods from your supplier, then maybe find some of the goods are not good, some they've, maybe they've expired, maybe they can be the wrong goods, so you send them back, all right? So these are what we call purchase returns, all right? So this decreases the purchasing expense, all right? It decreases purchasing expense, all right? And uh, it's an adjustment for purchases in your trading account. You always subtract your return outwards from your purchases. So now let's look at the general entries involved with return outwards, all right? So first, purchase goods from T limited worth 75,000, all right? So make the general entry for this original purchase. Okay, this is a credit purchase, all right? Because we have there a payable, a liability, which is T limited, all right? So for general entries, we analyze the transaction. All right, we bought goods on credit, all right, so which two accounts are involved? The purchases account and the payables account, all right? The purchases account is an expense and the payables account is a liability, all right? So the, the expense has increased, all right, and the liability has increased. So remember, expenses are debited. So we say purchases. Purchases seventy five thousand. Right. Then our liability has increased, so our payable T limited. T limited. We put in brackets here. Payable. All right, seventy five thousand here. <laughs> That's the general entry. Right. Being the purchase of goods on credit worth 75,000. That's what you can put as narration. Being the purchase of goods worth 75,000 on credit. All right. So we put it here. Right. So say debit and credit. Right. Now. We returned the goods worth 20,000 to T limited, all right? Now, remember, purchase, I mean, return outwards or purchase returns is a contra expense account, all right? All right, meaning it is credited, right? Unlike normal expenses which are debited, this one is credited, all right? So we returned the goods worth 20,000 to T limited. Right, so this that we have analyzed the transaction is the return of goods. The two accounts that are affected are return outwards and the liability. Okay, our liability account, the payable. Okay, so what's going to be happening here? Our payable is decreasing. Okay, our payable is decreasing, all right, because we're, we're owing them at first 75,000. Now we've given them back. 20,000 worth of goods, so we'll no longer be owing them 75,000. So we'll debit our payable because a decrease in a liability is debited, right? Decrease in a liability is debited. So debit T limited 20,000, right? And I said return outwards is a contra expense account, right? Return outwards, we credit return outwards 20,000. Right. So now let's do the double entries for this specific transaction here. Okay, let me make a T account. Okay, ledger account, put it like this. Put debit credit here. Yeah, let me just make one another one here. Okay. 
Okay, and one more here. All right, so we'll do the, we'll do the general interface for the parts. This is the purchases account. Purchase account is debited 75,000. All right, and our payable account T limited is credited 75,000. Then we return goods, all right? So we we'll open the new account, return outwards, this contra asset account, contra expense account. Okay, so say return outwards. And return outwards, we credit return outwards 20,000. And we debit our liability twenty thousand. All right. So now, if you want to see how much we are owing T Limited, all right. For all, find out how much we're owing T Limited now. Okay, because we return goods. All right. So we say, put here seventy-five thousand. Seventy-five thousand. Right, how much are we owing? So it's seventy five thousand minus twenty thousand, and we get fifty five thousand. So this is how much we are owing T limited. All right. So thank you guys, and we'll see you next time.